First Peter uh, chapter one. Peter, an ambassador of Yeshua Messiah, to those who are settled down alongside of a pagan population. Sown as seed throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Chosen out ones. This choice having been determined by the foreordination of God the Father. Those chosen out to be recipients of the set apart work of the Spirit. Resulting in obedience of faith. And this resulting in the sprinkling of the blood of Yeshua Messiah. Sanctifying grace to you. And tranquilizing peace be multiplied. Let the God and Father of our Master, Yeshua Messiah, be eulogized, who, impelled by His abundant mercy, caused us to be born again, so that we have hope which is alive. This living hope, having been made actual through the intermediate instrumentality of the resurrection of Yeshua Messiah, out from among those who are dead, resulting in an inheritance, imperishable and undefiled, and that does not fade away, which inheritance has been laid up and is now kept guarded in safe deposit in heaven for you who are constantly being kept guarded by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last session, season which is epical and strategic in its significance. If you will stand with me as we worship today. I want to just challenge you this right now just to lift your hands. Just to turn your thoughts, turn your heart, turn your emotions, your passion, your will, your affections, and get in a physical position that would help you connect in the Spirit in worship right now. Just take that moment and just, just prepare your heart to worship. Prepare your heart to engage. Prepare your body and your soul to just focus upon God right now. Just begin to speak out thanks and praise. Begin to humble yourselves and begin to declare His greatness. Begin to acknowledge His goodness in your life today and this week and at every moment. Begin to worship Him from your heart. Express worship to it. Just pray in the Spirit, son. Just press into the Spirit. Begin to release in the Spirit. Worship and pray. If you read 1 Corinthians 14, there's worship that comes out of our heart when we pray in the Spirit. So I just want to encourage you to just, just let go of yesterday and embrace this moment right now. Oh, we bless you. Yeah, hold on. 
bless you. We bless you. We bless you today. We magnify and praise you with our whole being today. You're great and greatly to be praised. Father, we have breath in our bodies because you're worthy today. We have strength in our bodies because you, you've blessed us, Father. We have peace because you blessed us today. We have strength because you blessed us. We have knowledge and understanding because you blessed us. And we bless you. We take this moment and we just bless you. We just release blessing and praise, glory and honor from this earth up into the, through the second heaven and into the third heaven today. We just release blessing and praise and glory. We release honor and worship from our heart. Worship from our heart today, Father. I just worship you from my heart today. I just want to connect with you, Father, in worshiping you today. I want to connect with the Spirit of God today in worship and blessing you today. Father, we just humble ourselves and say, we have to have your Spirit to do it, Father. We're incapable of worshiping you without your help or without your Spirit. So we worship you today. We have humble ourselves and ask you to help us just to press into worship today. Press into just giving you glory today. Press into opening our mouths and declaring your praise. Oh, we bless you, Father. We magnify you today. I magnify you, Father. Blessing. Blessing. 